The differential thermanalysis of the yttrium barium copper oxygen formation from the mixture of the three constituent oxides reveals many complex reactions. There are 14 phases present during such formation of yttrium barium 2 copper 3 oxygen 7 minus X compound, which will be different if the different rare earth elements will be used. In fact, the discovery was made using this technique where you literally shake and bake the different components until you obtain a ceramic phase that is interesting for you. The better step from that is rather than uh, mixing components, starting from a product which contains all the necessary uh, metals in the right stoichiometry, which is of course a much better choice, which is a choice where chemistry and in fact it's almost, it's nanotechnology before it was invented in a sense. The chemistry of the molecules is such that the different metals are there present in this complex in the right composition, in the right stoichiometry and close together so that the speed of the reaction, the rate of reaction is much faster. For preparing superconducting materials, it's very important to know the exact stoichiometry of the ions. You can see the plasma an argon plasma with eight, nearly 8,000 Kelvin. I have to spray it as an aerosol in the plasma. We can try to make an analysis with our ICP OES system. You are starting with a homogeneous solution of the salts that you want to solidify and you uh, pump them through the peristaltic pump into this high pressure nozzle. The nozzle uh, injects this uh, mist into a heated column of air and the heated column of air moves like this through the cyclone. Here the air is, and the water vapor are being driven off by a cooling system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, you see it? Yeah. here, the powder is collecting here. They are very homogeneous, they have a very specific grain size. This is a technique which is used for almost all the uh, ceramic preparations we do and for the bulk superconductors, particularly those ones that we need for the flame spraying. We need this kind of well granulated powder with systematically the same powder uh, size. Uh, this is a fairly unique setup uh, to produce uh, thick coatings on a cylindrical target, thick coatings of the superconducting ceramic obviously. This tube that is running around here and which is cooled by water passing through it is accepting the superconducting powder that we spray. It's in this canister. You obtain uh, cylindrical targets for magnetron sputtering. Rotatable magnetron sputtering technique and uh, the use of uh, plane uh, targets. Well, there are large uh, benefits for it. Uh, the first one is we can put, in, put a higher power in, in the magnetron and so we have a higher deposition uh, speed. Uh, there is also better material usage because with a planar target you have only 30% of the material you can use and then it's finished. And with a rotatable magnetron we can go to 90% of the material.